Hey everyone, I'm Northern Explorer. Welcome to my channel. Four wheel campers and Jeeps have something in common. They have both kept their iconic shapes over the years. Someone that's only casually acquainted with these products might have a hard time distinguishing an older model from a newer model. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the seven major changes and upgrades that I've noticed between my 2008 four wheel camper and my new 2020 four wheel camper. Any customer can have a car painted any color that he wants, so long as it is black. This used to be the case in the RV industry, but instead of black, the color options were white or white. In 2008, I had two options for the exterior skin of my camper, corrugated aluminum or smooth fiberglass. Both options were available in white only. I ended up going with the tried and true corrugated aluminum. A few years later, they came out with a silver spur edition, which is a color variation of the corrugated aluminum. Then in 2018, they came out with the smooth skin color options that they have today. In my opinion, this is the single biggest thing four wheel campers has done to modernize the look of their campers. The color that I chose is metallic charcoal. I chose to not order my 2008 four wheel camper with the optional solar panel. My camper did however come pre-wired for solar if I wanted to add a panel at a later time. At that time four wheel campers didn't include a solar panel wiring plug on the roof even though there was a wire leading up to the roof. I'm happy to say that my 2020 four wheel camper not only comes pre-wired for solar but they have also included two solar panel plugs. One of the plugs is located on the roof for a permanently mounted panel. and one on the back driver's side for a portable panel. My 2008 four-wheel camper had a two-piece aluminum roof that was held in place with 41 screws. The giant seam down the middle and every screw hole was a possible location for a water leak. In addition, the screws had the potential for backing out and occasionally needed to be checked to see if they were tight. The caulking used to seal the screw holes became dingy looking over time and the textured aluminum skin that was used was extremely hard to clean and would hold dirt very easily. My 2020 four wheel camper has a one piece aluminum roof that is held in place with an industrial strength double sided tape made by 3M. The aluminum skin is smooth to the touch and should be very easy to clean. One of the easier to spot upgrades that four wheel campers has made is the adoption of the radius door. The arch door frame looks better and should add to the structural integrity of the camper. My 2008 four wheel camper didn't come with any type of mechanism to assist with lifting the roof. Most other camper manufacturers were using either electric, hydraulic, or some sort of manual crank mechanism. Around 2010, four-wheel campers came up with an internal gas strut lift assist system, which greatly improved the ease of lifting the roof. This system was later improved upon with the external gas struts that you see today. The advantage of this system over other lift systems on the market are reduced weight, less mechanical complexity, and ease of replacement should one malfunction. They can also be replaced with a higher capacity strut if you plan on carrying anything on your roof. The light fixtures in my 2008 four-wheel camper were clunky looking rectangles with incandescent bulbs that drew a lot of power. One of the first modifications I did on that camper was to switch out the incandescent bulbs with LEDs. The new lights are sleek looking and mounted securely. The dimmable LEDs are controlled by a touch switch. The light they cast is even and easy on the eyes. Both the pop-up liner and the folding roof panels of my 2008 four-wheel camper functioned as they should have the entire time that I had that camper. No leaks, no tears, no mechanical failures. The material used on my 2020 camper is even better. The liner material is 28% stronger and has a smoother finish which should make it a lot easier to clean. It appears lighter in color and a little more shiny than the old material. The roof lift panels are now made of a composite material that is stronger and rot resistant. The black color adds to the more modern look of the camper. These are just the most noticeable upgrades. They have also made improvements to the propane lines, the foam used for the mattress, the door latch, the 
camper anchor points, and the electrical components. That's it for this one. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.